Two rounds. That's more impressive than what Jay Leon Love, British prospect Callum Smith, and even Andre Durrell did with Biasi. And lapping the globe. Brooklyn can be a bit intimidating, but I don't think Arab Yanchenko is going to be affected. That's because he's fought in 12 different countries as a pro. All right, Thomas. And welcome to Showbox. The new generation here at the Aviator Sports and Events Center in Brooklyn, New York. We get the action started with eight rounds scheduled in the super middleweight division. And it is being brought to you by Lou DeBella's DeBella Entertainment in association with Fight Promotions Inc. and Showtime. Along with their great sponsor, Manfredi Auto Group. Rest in peace, Joe Manfredi. Our th and Don Trella. Our referee in charge, the third man in the ring, will be Ricky Gonzalez. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the blue corner, he's wearing black trimmed in yellow and weighed in at 165 pounds. Coming to us from Hermosillo, Sonora, Mexico, he brings a professional record consisting of Alan La Ananasa Campa. And his opponent across the ring, fighting tonight, out of the red corner. He's wearing blue with white and weighed in at 163 and a quarter pounds. Coming to us from Nikolaev, Ukraine. He has a undefeated record of four wins. Three of his four wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and I gave you the instructions to the dressing room, protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Touch them up. Very willing to end this first round. Circuit gets close, tries to close that range with a little. You see his jab is not not too effective, not a hard jab. It's a pesky jab. It's just a little touching jab that it frustrates you. See, that's what I'm talking about. That little pesky jab, not too much power on it, but it's just trying to find the distance. interesting Derev Yanchenko very often does not have very good first rounds he is called the technician and he likes to study his opponent sometimes that means getting hit a little bit before he opens up with what he feels will work no power shot really thrown by you Thank you. 
good straight left hand. Body shot with the right hand by Derevianchenko, and then he comes upstairs with the left hand. Amateur experience, we talked about Derevianchenko before on the Ukrainian Olympic team in 08. Kampa, not a bad amateur himself, had 188 bouts and fought in the 09 Pan Games, a very high level competition. Pro experience, Derevianchenko again, four bouts, but if you count the World Series of boxing fights, well, then he has. Sergey, he covers up pretty well. He's got that nice frame defense, real compact. So, Kampa's going to have to throw more combinations. He can't just hit him with one shot. He's got to look for openings. He's got to create openings and make that happen. That's what I'm talking about. He did good there. He's, he heard his dad. He's more body work and just be a little bit more busier in there. Very even first round. And Kampa seems content to let Derek Yanchenko come to him. Yelling at Kampa, pick him up with the uppercut. But he's got to set that uppercut up. Deep breath. Okay, listen. Double down on the jab, sir. Okay. When you when you got him going with the jab, stick him a little bit closer with the right hand. Pop it in his chest and then step around him. Okay, don't. do is keep the numbers clean and you're going to take care of business. Up and down with the jazz. Long distance. Long distance. Don't get close to him yet. Two of this scheduled eight round fight. Kampa in the black trunks, Derevianchenko in the blue with a white stripe. Both corners really pretty much saying just do what you did in the first round. Good body shot from Kampa. And another nice combination. One thing Kampa needs to stop doing is reaching with that right hand. Now, he's reaching with his jab. That's going to give Derek Anchenko counter opportunities. But when he reaches with his right, he's really going to be open for a counter left hook. He's got to stop doing that. Sergio be very smart in there. Just applying intelligent pressure, taking his time. You see as the rounds go, there's only second round, but he keeps closing that gap. Big right hand right there. Technician has seen an opening. Yes. Definitely, I yeah, created them openings. Because he's throwing more shots. He's throwing three and four, five punch combinations. Campus throwing one, two, three shots every down. Then he's not as busy. There was that right hand again from Derevinchenko, and he's really found a home for that overhand right. Interesting there that Campo was in the corner. Derevinchenko did not feel any urgency to keep him there. That right hand just missed. Derevinchenko's pace is clearly picked up here. Yeah, he's a technician, as we said. If Kampa doesn't lead first, Derevinchenko is going to jab first and come in, try to cut, cut off the ring. Yeah, Kappa's being forced to fight. Serge's fight. I mean, he's trying, but Sergey is right on him. Two point combination from Kampa. Kampa turns southpaw for a very brief time. He will do that. Not unusual for him. No, he's natural left hand. Get there! Ocho! Nueve! Yeah, 
We did more stunned him than hurt him. But it's been a dominant round for Dermachenko. Second time Kampa's been down. Give him some water. Put some water on him. Chenko, as Barry called, caught Kampa right on the button. And then Kampa in the corner where he doesn't need to be. And Derevanchenko took advantage of it. Didn't land all those shots. And let's take a couple of looks at the, knock, at the knockdown. That was a nice right hand right on the button. Hey, Derevanchenko is predictable. He studies you, and then he finds out what's going to work. And there it is, the right hand second knockdown of the career of Kampa. Well, you know, you can really see why they call him a technician. Yeah. I mean, he studied first round, figured it out, as you mentioned. Pockets in that throw. Or will he fight back? Right now, it looks like he's trying to create more range. Sergey being really aggressive and really came out of this third round. It's like his activity rate. Sergey keeps real busy. He doesn't have a lot of knockouts, but, you know, speed is power. I, I'm not sure that Kampo is in great shape here. Good left hand from Darren Chinko. And another sharp right hand. <laughs> Little short for that one, and the left hand gets there. And Kampo gets out of it. Swelling into the left eye, getting worse on Kampo. Yeah, this, this looks just like a matter of time. Uh, Sergey's really breaking him down, breaking down his will. You can see the face on Kampa. Very discouraged. He's, he's fighting out desperation. Back in the corner. Doesn't want to be there. Oh. Four or five punch combination from Derevchenko. So what's Kampa supposed to do when he backs up? He backs to the ropes and he's in target. Good left hand. That was a sharp jab. It's also a small ring. He ain't got no place to hide either. Yeah. So. Body Eight, shot. 18. Combination to the head. 18, Matter of time. Kampa backing into the corner again. Has to fight out of there. Kampa needs to hold on a little bit. Swallow that pride and walk into the middle of the ring. Just try to keep the fight in the center. Keep turning them. He's being he's on the ropes too much. I mean, he can't help it. The circus is right on him, so. That's how we got a turn. Hit him with the left hand. Two jabs. Drives it back into the ropes again. Oh. Sharp right hand. He places his punches so well. Good right hand again. Yeah, he's really precise with another sharp punches. right hand. Look at him. A nice little angle there by Sergey. And Compass legs are betraying him right now. Right hand on the top of the head. It's only the third round, and Compa looks worn out of Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Sharp right hand of the body. Huge round for Dermianchenko. He said a huge round to Darren Vonchenko, a right hand. He gets hit right there. He will get hit because he's always in the pocket. He's always attacking, especially when he thinks he's figured his guy out. Later in the round, left hook, right hand, and then he goes to work. And if come, and again, Darren Vonchenko following with a lot of punches. Easily could have made that a 10-8 round. Sure. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm proud of the 10-8 round. They were telling Kappa in the corner to... One, two down the middle, but Sergey 
doesn't give him any room. This is round four, a fight that is now turned to a dominant one for Derevyanchenko. was sure. tougher than his first four, quote, professional fights. Right. That was a very impressive performance, I thought. You know, he found... This guy took his he, time, yeah. His IQ, his boxing IQ is so high. Very he smart. He out right away. If you jab, I can land this. If I step in, I can do this. Counter punch. Really, really a smart fighter. All right, let's take him to the center of the ring. Thomas Triber to make it all official. Thomas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, 17 seconds of round number four. Our referee in charge, Ricky Gonzalez. Stop. Irvin Well, that technician was technically sound. Long name, shorter fight. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. But remember that long name because yes. I think you're going to be hearing it. And we took a look at the take a look at the numbers. Not a big percentage of jabs for Derevanchenko, only 25%, but the power shots 52 to 15 and body punching a little bit. He could have gone to the body more, it didn't matter. He knew he could land his hooks in his right hands up. And you can almost read what Kampa is thinking here. What am I supposed to do? When I punch, he counters and lands beautifully right on target and if I don't then I back up I'm against the ropes like this and I'm getting hit to the body and I have to hold on so there was really no answer after the first round for Tampa that's the first knockdown round three Raul said it could have been a 10-8 round it was total domination and it's going to be very interesting to follow Derevan Just looks so comfortable in the ring. Can't wait to see him move up and fight tougher competition. No, absolutely. And to that end, too, both he and Heatruff, they're married, so they're with their family here, but living in Brooklyn, and uh, they both say they've adapted very easily. One thing, Raul, that I, you really got to like about this guy, or yes. I really like about he really sets down on his power shots. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You saw whenever he put hurt on him, instead of throwing furries, he was really sitting down and and loaded up with them shots and you know on top of what you guys were saying about the family stuff with the ukraine fighters these guys are very hungry you know they come from a poor beginnings and when you come here to the united states i mean they're they're hungry they want to succeed because if you make it here in the states you make it all featuring hometown favorite frank galarzo is coming up later up next Yevgen Hitrov, another Ukrainian prospect. 